Hello! Today I'd like to show you some of the work I've been doing with Jaden Edwards' Puppet Robot. So first let's have a look at the hardware. So this is um, the Puppet kit that I got from Kickstarter. I've done a couple of little mods, so I've added a Bluetooth card and I've switched it to be powered by a phone booster battery. The Bluetooth card just plugs into where the mini driver accepts the Bluetooth card. Um, I've just used some jumper wires to connect it out just because the card head doesn't quite fit inside. And Puppet will work happily with normal batteries, but just because I'm too lazy to ch take out and charge batteries, I've just used the phone booster like I do in a lot of my projects. Uh, that just lets me recharge it with USB, and, and this battery lasts for quite a while, so it's pretty nice to use. Um, and then I've made an app, as you can see here. The app is based off the work I did on Mob Bob and my Serial project, so you'll see a lot of similar features. So let's get started with a little demo. Put Puppet over there. Um, all right, let's connect. Greetings, I am Puppet. So Puppet introduces uh, himself, herself, um, like I do with my Mob Bob app. And then the first mode I'll show you is this uh, simple drive mode. So basically you get four uh, buttons to drive, pop it around. So let's see, forward, backwards, left, right. So it all works pretty easily. And what I've added is this um, sensor as well. So you can kind of see the reading that you get out of Puppet's ultrasonic sensor from there, uh, which is kind of handy and fun. Um, then the next mode I've got is the analog drive mode. With this mode, there is an analog stick which you can use to drive Puppet at various speeds and um, very, and turn at more finely controlled angles. So let's see, I can drive Puppet forward slowly, I can drive Puppet back slowly, I can have Puppet turn at different rates. So this gives you a lot of control over driving Puppet. And when you put Puppet on the ground, this is pretty fun to use. And again, I've also got the same um, sensor mode here, so you can get readings from there. Um, and then the next mode I want to show you is the voice interaction mode. So this is pretty much um, a port of my Sphero app for Puppet. Uh, of course, I've taken some features out because some stuff really requires... Oh, getting, what do you want to do? Oh, it's getting a bit restless. Some of the features require the gyro and stuff that Sphero has, so I've taken some stuff out. But let's have a look. Hello. Hello. Go forward. Okay, I'm going forward. Wow. Go backwards. I'm backing up. Turn right. Going to my right. So you can drive pop it around using voice commands. Turn left. Rolling left. And then I've put in a few fun things as well, like this. Um, what time is it? The time is 10.17 p.m. So, um, so Puppet does a whole bunch of things and, and um, you can probably look up the Sphero commands I have to work out what you can use with Puppet. Um, oh, he gets restless. What are you doing? All right, then one more mode I want to show you is the Explore mode. So this is a brand new mode that lets Puppet uh, wander around and avoid obstacles. Um, and then while he's wandering around, you'll see the sensor reading there. Let's have a quick look at the explore mode. You just start it by pressing this button, but I'll just put Puppet out of the way first. Okay, let's start it. Let's explore. So Puppet will kind of randomly pick directions, and if Puppet sees an obstacle, Puppet will kind of turn and pick a new direction. 